Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can change your barometric pressure units on your Garmin Instinct 2 watch. Now I'm using the solar version in today's video. It shouldn't matter whether you've got solar or non-solar, it's going to be the same for everybody. I'll also say this is pretty much the same thing as the Instinct 1. The only difference between the Instinct 1 and the Instinct 2 from a setting standpoint is that you could also do this on the Garmin Connect app for the Instinct 2 and sync the change over to your watch, whereas on the Instinct 1, you have to do it on the watch. I tend to prefer doing this stuff on the watch anyway. That's what we're going to be doing uh, today. So if you look, I've got my barometric pressure showing up here. The barometer can be shown in multiple places. You can have it as a data field on your watch face, which is what I've got. You can also set the barometer glance. I'm going to go ahead and press the up button. I've got it set uh, in my glances here. You can see here's my barometric pressure and then you can go into that glance and you can see it. But you might want to change the units that are being displayed right now. Mine are being displayed in inches. Well, what if I want to change that to hectopascals or something else? How would we do that? That's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So there are a few different ways you can get to this. I'm going to show you the two basic ways that I recommend. Uh, from the main watch face, if you press and hold the middle button on the left hand side, that will take you into your menu. Once we get into the menu, you can use the up or down button. I would recommend pressing the up button because what you need to get to is system and that's at the bottom of your menu. So pressing up will take you to the bottom of your menu. Once we're on system, we're going to again press the top right button to go into our system settings. Then again, we can use the up or down button. We're going to go down to format. Press the top right button for format. The very first option you should see under format is units. I'm going to press the GPS button to go into my units. And then again, we can use the up or down button. What we're looking for in this video is pressure. You can see that my barometric pressure is set to inches. I can press the GPS button. I can go in and change what units my barometric pressure is being displayed in. So I can do millimeters of, of uh, mercury, millibars, or hectopascals. Set it to whatever you want. Once you're done, you could press the back button several times to get back to your main watch face. You can always press and hold the menu button. That will take you back to your watch face. And you can see that my barometric pressure is still being shown, but instead of being shown in inches, it is now being shown in hectopascals. Same thing if I go into my barometer. Now my barometer value is changed uh, here as well. So that's the first way to do it. That's doing it through our settings. The way I wanted to show as well is if you've got the barometer glance installed, which I do have, if you go into the barometer, you can see here's your barometric pressure. It's kind of cool. Shows you what your low and what your high pressure has been for the last uh, so many hours, depending on how you have that set. But while you're in your barometer glance, if you press and hold the menu button, you will see an option for barometer options. If you press the GPS button to select that, one of the options that you will see under here is your pressure units. So again, we can go right back to the same place we were at before and we can change what our units are being displayed in. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine back to inches. And you'll notice that now my barometer has been switched back to inches. It's basically just a shortcut to the same setting we went to first. You can do it through your barometer options in your barometer. Really simple stuff. There's some other things you can do in the barometer options as well. But for this video, I just wanted to show you how you can change your barometer units. If the video helps, I hope you'll think about subscribing to this channel or giving me a like. As always, thanks for watching.